Whoa! Welcome to the replay viewers and welcome to your live viewers. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. I'm about to call uh, one of my tenant buyers back. They don't. I don't know if they know or not, but uh, tomorrow they are supposed to be served their eviction notice. Now I don't know if they're going to be able to save the day and uh, you know come through with the money or what. But I already got the process started. I actually sent all the paperwork over to the attorney yesterday, and uh, I think they said they're going to serve them on Friday. What's today anyway? Today Thursday. Yeah, today, Thursday. So he's going to be served tomorrow. They might have served him today. I don't know. But he called two times today for some reason. He normally don't call. He normally just texts me and says, oh, I'm all right. You know, I'm going to send you 200 here, 300 there. Monthly payment is supposed to be $7.95 a month. But he's been late every month since he's been in there, since July. Time to get a new buyer. <laughs> exactly. So we got to see. So he owed close to three thousand dollars, something like that, because, uh, yeah, tomorrow's the 28th. And, you know, all of the rents are due on the 28th, late on the first. So I want to time it just right, because when I call the real estate attorney to ask, you know, should I go ahead and start the process now or should I wait to the 28th when there's another payment due? So all of his payment is inclusive when he has to either bring all the money or get ready to get up out of there and do some more woke stuff. So, hope this video provides you some value. I'm about to call him back to see if he's going to make an excuse or what. I don't know. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. So, I'm going to see if, uh, you know, what's his excuse. Like I said, I don't know if he's been served yet. He probably has because, like I said, he normally don't call me. He usually texts me and say, yeah, I'll get you some Friday or check with me next week. And we say something on Friday, that's usually two or $300. And it never catches him up. Like I say, his payment... It's seven ninety five a month, and he's only made that payment really like once or twice, and then he was paid like all oh, three or four hundred. Then he'd be behind. Then he'll pay it, catch it up. But now he done let it catch up to almost three thousand dollars. And so I sent the people. So like I said, I don't know if they served him today or if they're gonna serve him tomorrow. But I'm gonna call him back right now and take his temperature and see what he feels about things, what he's saying, what he's thinking. But like I say, uh, we're gonna see how this rolls. So. Any good questions I should ask him while I get him on the phone? Let me know. Put it in the comments. But I'm going to dial his number right now. Let's see if I can find his number in here. Call him from the rent to online and see if there's something there. Record all calls for quality and training, which I really shouldn't even call him for real because I should just be like, oh, you got to notice, pay your bill. What am I calling about? But I just want to see what he's going to say. And it might be something you can learn here. So let's see. I'm learning too, because this is my first eviction. I really don't want to evict them, but hey, you owe me three grand, bro. And I ain't, I'm paying on a house that you ain't even paid me for, man. You can't live for free. You know, some of his excuses was something came up. Ain't nothing more important than where you lay your head. Something came up. Pay your damn bill, bro. Hey, yeah, David, this is Chris. I saw you had called earlier. I do? Yeah, this is not David. Oh, who is this? Yeah, you looking for David. This is not David. Oh, who is this? Who, who are you looking for? <laughs> uh, sound like you, David. Is this not, do I have the wrong number or something or what? You have the wrong number. This is not David. Is he there? No, this is a cell phone. So this is my cell phone. This is not David. Oh, so he's not there. Oh, okay. Do you have his number? Uh, I don't know who he is. I, nobody ever uses my cell phone, so I don't know who he's talking about. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Uh, uh, the hell was that? <laughs> that was weird. Let me make sure. Did I dial the wrong number? Oh, damn. Maybe he don't even have a phone. Where is David? He always called me from this number. Let me make sure. Did I do something wrong here? He said this is somebody heeding and including. Was that his job? 
Where is David, exactly? I don't know. I guess I can't reach him. I thought I was going to be able to call him back. He been texting me from this number. Let me make sure I ain't crazy. He said, this is not David. Let me see. Am I crazy here? That was weird as hell. I ain't never seen nothing like that. And it sounded like him. I thought he was playing around, but like, this ain't him. I'm like, oh, well, you can play around, but them people coming to knock on your door, if they ain't served you already, I know they going to serve you. They going to find you. I mean, they ain't no find you to do. They know where you at. But uh, let me try this again. Let me make sure it wasn't me dialing the wrong number. David, did I dial the wrong number? Hold on. Refresh my system here. Maybe it's me. That was strange as hell. I thought he was just playing around. What the hell? Let me try David again. Oh, uh, did I dial the wrong number? Oh, okay. Maybe I did. Damn, did I really dial the wrong number? That's weird. So that wasn't David. Let's call David. <laughs> I don't know how I dialed the wrong number. I thought I put it right in here. Let's try it again. Paste. Record the call for quality and training purposes. And we're going to call him from the Rent Online. A dedicated number just for tenant buyers. They got their own number because they're a special case. So let's try this again. Damn, I thought he was playing games. Let's try again. Round two. Fight. Please press 1 to connect to 314. Strange as hell. Thumbs up. Now he don't want to answer, huh? This the right number this time for sure. I'm sorry. But the person you called has a voice mailbox. Oh, I should have just called them from another number then. They want to play these old... I ain't got to call them, to be honest. Like I said, the people going to serve them tomorrow. And I think they served them today because he's acting weird. Like I said, he's never called me before. He always sent a text. Matter of fact, here, I'll let you see some of the text. Some of the junk. Oh, I have some for you Friday. All right. Friday, they're going to be serving you. I want my money, man. See, look at this kisses he done made. Let me flip my camera. Hold on. I'll have some for you Friday. Hey, Chris. Look how you spell my name. I have some for you next week on Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday already passed, bro. We need to get you caught up. You are very far behind. See, I was real respectful. I didn't say nothing wrong. I said, yeah, man. Oh, man, he owe over 3000 Look at that. Your balance up today is 3800 That's a lot of money, man. I'll have some for you next week. I say, David, we need to get you caught up. Do you, how do you plan to do that? I will have some for you next week. Your balance is, damn, I ain't know it was that much. I think I sent the wrong number to the attorney. I'm just waiting on my taxes. Well, I hope your taxes hit tomorrow like everybody else, because I'm getting that whole damn thing, baby. I want my money. Are you getting up out that house? I will have some for you Friday. I'm in the hospital. The doctor going to tell me. Okay, make every excuse. Going all the way back. He got excuses, man. Look at this. I gave you 200 last week. 200? You owe 795. It's Tuesday. I haven't heard anything from you. Look at this. It's the first. At first, you said Friday, which is tomorrow. Then Tuesday, I will have something for you. The gray is him. The black color is me. I will get caught up and will give you something Tuesday. Look at that. Hello, we did not receive your payment for January. You are now behind 3,200 plus late fees. How do you plan to get caught up? Right, he should have been gone a long time ago. I try to be nice and work with him. But hey, man, you got to go now, dog. It's tax season. I'm getting my money. I know people getting their checks. I'm filing fees. See, I play nice. See, I play nice for a while. I mean, I know everybody go through stuff. I mean, I'm a cool guy. But hey, I know y'all getting them checks, bro. I want my money. I want my money, man. When your check, tax check come back four, five grand with them kids and all them things, I want that money coming from you to me. Like you said, 3800 he should have been gone long ago. And I think I sent 3600 or something to the attorney. He got a $200 discount. Oh, that's because he paid 200 Okay, that's why. But still, it's still too much. Seven ninety five a month, what's that? 800 800 that's 16 800 again, what's that? 24 800 again, what's that? 32 that's four months. He four months behind. Man, it's time to go, bro. And I don't even know if the debt count this month? Going into March? Because tomorrow the 28th. Payments are due on the 28th and late on the 1st. So he owed me almost four grand. I want my money. Plus, he's going to pay an extra $500 to the attorney because I drafted my paperwork like that. It's in my addendum that the uh, 
the tenant buyer is responsible for any and all attorney's fees in the event an eviction must be filed. It's in my paperwork. See, your paperwork makes your paperwork. That's what we're going to be talking about come Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. We're going to be on with uh, Byron, the investor. He's going to be coming on this Monday night, so make sure you're tuned in right here. And the Woke Real Estate Investors Group are watching on the YouTube channel at Chris Monroe STL or watch it on the Periscope page at Chris Monroe Show. Make sure you're tuned in live. And if you don't know when we go live, just text JV to 31996. That'll get you the free joint venture agreement and you'll be notified of when we go live on these Monday night shows. Text JV to 31996. Yeah, this was a rent to own. And he only put like, I think he only put like 3500 down or something. It was the lowest down payment I ever took on any house. Because the house was actually kind of hard to sell. So, I mean, I took a lower down payment. I usually get, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or, you know, the highest one I ever got was 21000 now. But this is one of the lowest ones at 3500 So he's exhausted that down payment now. So that's why I said I was going to wait. Even though I shouldn't have waited, I should have filed on him the first time. How much are the fees on the eviction? So it'll probably be a couple hundred, but uh, the attorneys usually want 500 as a retainer. They didn't charge me one on this time because I've had to file on some other people before. But this guy, I don't think he's going to uh, do it. The very first one I did, let me tell you about that. So the very first one I did where I got that $21,000 down on, that non-refundable from somebody, that very first month, they tried to play that all no stuff. Oh, I don't know. I thought when we paid down, it took her this month because they bought the house like the 21st of December. So I factored in the rest of the December payment and January payment. So they were due on January 28th. So when January 28th came around, they acted like, oh, no, we already paid up. We are supposed to pay till next month. And I'm like, oh, no, nah, man, y'all only paid for January. I was trying to keep a straight face. Who calling me? Somebody going to call me while I'm streaming live. Call me why I'm on live, on, on Facebook. You see how they do? No respect. Put some respect on my name. So, yeah, this dude here, he tried to come in and play that on no stuff. So I called the people up. I sent them right over there. They went straight that day. I called him at about 1 o'clock. He was served by 5 o'clock. And, and the next day, guess what? He came in and made that payment the very next day. So when you, you make it real to people, and you send them attorneys or you send that service person over there to go... I want my money, man. And that make people act right. So I think he been served because, like I said, he acting kind of weird. And he didn't answer right there. Should I try to call him again or should I just leave him alone? Should I try to call him again? Because I want to hear his excuse or see what his plan is. Is he planning on dropping my four grand? Or he going to get up out of my house? It's up to him. I'd rather get the money from him and let him stay. But other than that, we're going to have to go through the whole process of eviction. Which I didn't want to do that. He know he owes it. So what you want me to do, man? You want me to sit back and let you pimp me, man? You want to live up in my house. And like I said, one of his excuses was something came up. I said, why you ain't pay? Something came up. What the hell more important than where you lay your damn head? You going to sleep every night. You paying an electric bill. You paying a water bill. You paying a sewer bill. You paying a trash bill. You paying all these bills, but you can't pay your damn rent? Pay your money, bro. And it's only seven ninety five. dollars Come on, man. And I can understand things happen with people. I've been working with the guy. I've been very, very lenient. Actually, I've been too lenient to let it get up to over $33,000. That's a lot of money to sit up and just be living off somebody's house for free. Put some respect on my name. What's up, Burton? Yeah, we'll be on with Burton coming on. Uh, not this Monday, but the following Monday. I think that's the night. What's up, Maya? Vincent said, call him. All right, let's get him on the phone and see if he's going to answer this time. Because the other time he didn't answer. And I did dial the right number that time. But you see all them excuses he gave me. Hey, Chris, I was in the hospital. Well, I don't want to hear that, bro. So he spoke to my VA today. He called in, and my virtual assistant answered. And he was like, yeah, I'm trying to find Chris. Uh, I got a money order for him. I hope that money order is over $3,000, and we can talk. If it's a little two, three dollars $300, you're wasting your time, man. Them attorneys are already going to serve you tomorrow, if they haven't served you already. I think they served him, though. But let's see here. Let's give him a call. Let's see if we can get him on the phone. Let me see, am I calling the right number? Yep, we're going to call. Let's call him from a different number because I got a bunch of numbers. I got about 30 phone numbers. Let's see here. I'm going to call him directly from my pretty house phone line. Let's see if he answers that since he want to act like he don't see my rent-to-own number calling him. If you can relate, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a share. Let me know you're there and let me know you care. Okay. <laughs> 
sorry face. Professional. Hello? Hey, David, this is Chris. I saw you had called earlier. Oh, hey, how's that, Chris? Good, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you got a money order for me? Is it to catch up your whole payment of, uh, what is it, over $3,000? So you saying you have a money order for me right now for five hundred fifty dollars? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm over in my office now. Uh, do you know where that's at? Up by the airport. I'm so sorry to hear that you were in the hospital, huh? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was in the hospital. They had uh, they had to put up my uh, uh, I had a foot on my uh, stomach. They had to break the foot. Oh wow, cause yeah, you know you owe like over three thousand dollars, right? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm getting caught up. I'm, I'm getting caught up. Um, I'm trying. Like I said, I'm doing like two fifty uh, every week to every other. And then I, if I, I think what if we, I do uh, three hundred every uh, other week. Yeah, because you know your payment is like seven ninety five a month. That's pretty much eight hundred a month. So that if you pay exactly that a month, I don't know how that would catch you up. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I do six fifty every week. That'd be a thousand. Oh. But yeah, I was just trying to see how what, how do we plan on getting you caught up though? We want to get you. I mean, are you still going to be using? Yeah, I know you said I'm something gonna, before about you were going to use uh, your tax money to get it caught up. Is that something you're still planning on doing? Yeah, I'm thinking about. Yeah, I'm thinking about, thinking about doing. It. I'm just saying, like I said, I'm paying every other week to get that tax money. Oh, okay. Did they tell and, you uh, when you'll be getting your tax return money back? No, they didn't tell me. They didn't tell me why. Yeah, I would get that in because. So that payment that you have for uh five fifty, what did you do? Just drop that into the uh, deposit or something? Did you put that in a night drop? Yeah, put it in a night drop. Right. Yeah, I don't know, cause I, I, cause yeah, like I said, I think you owe like uh, cause really, you know, tomorrow's another month. You know, another that's gonna be payment for March of twenty twenty. That's another seven ninety five. Tax refund checks back tomorrow. You know that. Yeah, but I, I ain't getting that back tomorrow. I'm not willing. I'm just waiting on when they're gonna get it back. I'm trying to see. I follow my wife, so. though. Yeah, because we want to get you caught up because I think it's already been sent over to the legal department. I'm not sure yet, but uh, you know, like I said, I've, I've tried to hold them off as long as I can. You know, to try to help, try to work with you and things. So. something from somebody or something to get you caught up because yeah, like I, I said we I'm really just, well you don't have to worry about it too much longer. I'm thinking about getting a refinance anyway so oh okay be that would be the yeah, best so case scenario that's my whole goal that's why I tell you to uh, 
So you guys been working. So you guys been working on your credit and stuff over these few months and stuff. So you think you're able to qualify or something? Yeah, almost. I just got a little bit more, and I'll get a post Oh, okay. Because, like I said, I believe it's on. I believe it's already been sent over to our legal department, so I don't know. You know, they may contact you. I'm not sure, but we do want to get you caught up here as soon as possible. give you a call because I saw you had called earlier so uh, if something uh, if you're able to you know get a, a bigger lump sum of payment in to get you caught up that would be good because like I said we don't want you to be too far behind to the point you can't catch it you know what I mean because you're over because I think you're over three thousand dollars now in back payments that's old yeah I know I know no So actually, Keith contacted you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I saw, yeah, I talked to Keith and whatever. We worked the agreement. He said, "Okay, that's cool." Oh, okay. I just wanted to follow up with you to see if, uh, you know, if, if there was something I can do to, you know, help expedite the process. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can. 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 All right. So you have a good day. Okay. All right. You too. All right. Bye-bye. You too, Chris. Now, that's a Negro for you. Now, you see what this dude did here? Let me tell you what he did. He did some slick stuff. So this house, I got two houses that I bought with a lease purchase with the right to sublease. This dude went and talked to the owner of the house. He told me he talked to Keith. Do you know I will evict you for real now? He done went to, he done trying to go tell mommy and daddy, play mommy daddy games on me. Do he not know? He must be getting ready to get served tomorrow for sure. I thought he was going to mention that, but evidently they didn't. So he didn't say anything about it. Or maybe he, that's when he was saying, have you been over here? Somebody going to be serving him tomorrow. He didn't say that now. But uh, this is crazy. So let's see what y'all saying in here. Y'all over here having a good time. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, how's he going to pay? Come on. He first he owed 3 k Then he say he owed 2 k Yeah, he lying. You see how he lying? Man, go to the courthouse. Get this man eviction notice. Exactly. So this house is a, a house that I just leased with the right to sublease. But I am going to still go forward with the eviction. Because I've been paying the loan on this house. And I don't pay. No, the, the loan on the house is like, like 600 a month. He only paying 795 It's only a $200 spread on it. Ain't no money. But I'm paying that out of pocket to keep the loan caught up. I ain't paying for you to live nowhere for free. And he done went around my back. And told him, I'll talk to Keith. Keith, Keith lived three hours away. Keith don't run the house. I run that house. You dealing with me. What you doing talking to the owner of the house? He trying to go tell on me. You see that? He definitely gets some paperwork on his behind. He don't know who we playing with. <laughs> so, yeah, that's crazy. Let me go back and see here. The Joker said he going to get caught up. Tomorrow I'm going to pay 800 a month. That's your payment. How you going to pay 800 a month to get caught up when you owe three grand? The numbers on that up, bro. I can't understand what he is saying. His connection is horrible. Yeah, that's his life. Uh, he'll get caught up by November. No, he won't. What's up, Laura? Double L in the building. What's up, Kelsey? What up, what up, Tara? What up? Poor David, exactly. He said he's been through some stuff. He got that struggle wireless. Let me see what else y'all saying back here in the comments. Yep, so any questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Because this is crazy. I love this, Chris. The things people don't see when the cash flow on properties. Exactly. When you own a house, you get problems, baby. Problems. You got to be a problem solver. What's up, Ernesto? What up, Chris Jackson? What up, though? I don't like that behind your back movie pool. That was some slick stuff. I talked to Keith. What you talking about talking to Keith? How do you even know Keith? Keith ain't even making the payments. I'm making the dang on payments. Keith ain't paying nothing. Matter of fact, you want the real down low on the whole deal here? This house is titled in Keith's daddy's name, right? Keith's daddy is deceased, right? So the loan 
is in daddy's name. The house is still in daddy's name. So, with the and then here's an extra catch. You ready for a right hook? I'm going to catch you with an extra one here. Then, before daddy died, he put his girlfriend on the damn deed. So now, that's what we. That's why I said I couldn't even buy the house when I was trying to buy the house. So we ended up doing a lease with the right to sublease. Because other than that, this I caught the loaner before the bank took it. I used his down payment to catch the loan up to keep the house. The house would have been took a long time ago by the bank. So I worked some magic, sprinkled some fairy dust all over it, saved the deal, saved the house, got this person a house to live in, saved problems for the bank, saved problems for the neighborhood that got a vacant house in it, saved problems for the tax base who ain't getting no taxes, saved problems for everybody in it, put a little bit of something in my pocket, get a little bit of cash flow when he pays. And this dude that went up here, so... uh. I couldn't buy the house at that time, and I still can't buy because we're still working out the title issues. Getting a dead sister-in-law off the deed, the dead daddy off the deed, and Keith is the son of the daddy. So I leased it from him because he controls the property. Does that make sense? And then he talking about some how did I, uh, you know, I'm thinking, how the hell did he talk to Keith? What you doing talking to Keith, bro? Keith can't even say the deal. I say this deal. It's my deal, baby. I got paperwork. <laughs> I control this property. I don't own it, but I control the property. I don't like that behind the back movie pool. F him for that reason alone. He gone. Exactly. He'll be served tomorrow. I thought he got served today the way he was calling because he called two or three times earlier. I don't like that move behind your back. Can we wholesale a contract for D? You can wholesale anything. You can wholesale this bottle of water. In fact, I used to wholesale these bottles of water. Buy them at the store for $6.99. I'm sorry. $5.99 at the store. Sell them on Amazon for $50 and $60 for a six-pack of these waters right here. Buy them for $6, sell them for $60, minus Amazon fees and stuff like that. Made about $35 to $40 per sale. But you can't do that anymore. Somebody messed it up. But this was a good deal. I made a lot of money selling Fiji waters about a year ago. So I've been on that wholesale stuff. I've been on that hacking stuff. I've been on that flipping stuff, baby. That water was good. One more time. Give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share if you care. Fiji is everywhere you want to be. So yeah, you can wholesale anything to answer your question, Maya. Good question. As long as you have a contract that is assignable that doesn't say not assignable or something silly like that on it. So the default answer is contracts are assignable. Unless it says on it, not assignable. Thanks for all those th thumbs up. So, um, we can wholesale a contract for D. We can wholesale a cash purchase. We can wholesale a subject to. You can wholesale anything. But why would you wholesale a contract for D? Why don't you want to keep it? Is it in Missouri? I'll buy it. What you got, Maya? You got something under contract? I'll buy it. If it's a good buy and hold, because I like to hold them. You can't get rich if you sell them all. How he even get in contact with him. You're right, Chris. Same thing I'm wondering. Where's the girlfriend? The girlfriend is deceased. So the girlfriend is on the deed. She got added. She died shortly after the daddy died. So I got two dead people on the deed and a loan that's being paid by a tenant that's living in it that's got me in the middle of it. So I just, I'm just i just part of the sandwich lease option. Some of the things you may hear called the sandwich lease option. So two dead people on the deed and a son that's controlling the property. The only son. So when they go through the whole probate system and all of that, you know, so I saved the deal. I was going to buy it, but since I couldn't close on it in a timely manner because of the title issues, I went on and just set it up as a lease with the right to sublease. Found a tenant buyer, installed him, used his money to catch the loan up. He's been living in the house for about seven, eight months now, being late every time. Make sense? Shalita says it makes sense. That's right, Maya. We need to. Well, I need help with the laughing, but serious. Well, I can help you. Is it in Missouri? That's what I want to know. I don't care if it's anywhere else, really. Ernesto says, own nothing and control everything. That's what's up. That's right, Ernesto. Control everything. I don't need to own the house. I just want to own the cash flow. I do want the deed if I can get it. But since I couldn't do it on this deal and I needed to work special to work the deal to make it happen, I went on and just got it on the lease with an option about. I only got two houses on the lease. All the others I bought and got the deed. What's up, Nick? Chris in the STL, you don't need bottled water. Best water. What? Best water from the tap I tasted. Well, this is alkaline water. And I don't even really drink this kind of water. I really drink. I like Fiji, but let me show you the other one I really like. This is my real water. This is 
a much sexier bottle too. Look at that. Isn't she sexy? That's the water I like right there called Eternal. It's a bigger bottle and it's a 7.8 to 8.2 natural pH. Good water there. Tasty. Tastes good cold or hot. So let's see what we got here. Maya says it's a $210,000 four bedroom in a suburban area. What's the ARV on it? Does it need any repairs? Uh, and how much is going to need to close the deal out? Meaning to pay you your fee, closing costs, uh, acquisition costs. What is it going to cost to get the deal? All right, let's see. Chris Jackson says, go take the doors off the mofo house and let that mofo feel the cold air out in the loo. <laughs> and it was cold today. It was about 40 degrees. We actually warmed up because we were colder than this. In fact, we had snow the day before or yesterday, I believe. Yeah, but I'm not going to mess with them. I'm not going to the house. That's why I use a third-party real estate attorney. They go over there and knock on the door, serve him his document, tell him that, hey, you got 10 days, pay your quit notice, and uh, go through the process. I could do it, but I'd rather not be involved in it. That way, I don't have anybody saying, that. oh, you came and threatened me. I ain't threatened nobody. I ain't even go to your house. It ain't even my house to go to because they have quiet enjoyment, and they own and control the property for this sake so i don't even go to it i should go to it i need to go do an annual visit of all my houses i haven't been in any of them since i leased them out leased them with an option to buy let's see any more questions y'all got all right ernesto says does that tenant have the option to buy yes he put i think 3500 down and an option to buy the house at fifty nine thousand. the loan on the house is about 4300 so that's what i leased it for the 4300 so in the event he goes and actually cashes it out which he claimed he's going to do which I don't think he's going to really do that. If he goes and cash it out, I'll get a big check on the back end. It'll be worth all the headache. So we'll see how that goes. So he only put uh, about 3500 How much was the lease fee? He only put like 3500 down, which is too low. That's why I like to get skin in the game on these people. Because when they don't start acting right, I want to let them know that, hey, you're done. You're done. You got to go, bro. So he tried to butter me up and act like, oh, yeah, man, I got a money order for you. Then he just lied, too. He lied a couple places on that phone call. One, he lied by saying he made a deposit, which I'm going to see tomorrow morning because uh, I didn't see it on my thing. Let me let me check my app right quick. I, don't, I ain't seen no deposit going there for no 550 If he did, that's good. That's just more money. He just paid the fee to the attorney. Thanks. But I want my three, my 3500 or however much he owns. I want my whole thing. Let's see what he got here. Let me log in. See if there's any deposit that just came in. Because actually I get a text message when any deposit of $200 or more hits my account. I got that set up on my alerts. But I didn't get a text, so let me check. Uh, let's see here. The last deposit came in on this account was 600 That was from somebody else. Nope, that wasn't him. And actually that was three days ago. So nope. He didn't make no deposit. He lied. I mean, he might have deposited. I don't know. He might have put it in the night drop, which it'll hit tomorrow. But he'll be served by tomorrow as well. So, sorry for little old poor David. Haven't signed it yet. Let me see what she's saying here. Haven't signed it yet, but she keep calling me. It's turnkey. No repairs. ARV is 210. She's asking 200. And it needs no repairs. So, what do you want for the deal? In fact, I'll just hit you up after this. Where is it at? Where is the location of this property? Is it in Kansas or is it on this Missouri side? I know you're in Kansas City area, but is it in the Kansas state or the Missouri side? Because I'm set up over here. I ain't really set up for over there, but I can get set up if the numbers make sense. That's why I'd rather wholesale it instead of going through this, shaking my head. Why would you wholesale it? Buy that bad boy, because if you don't buy it, I will. I'll buy it. Send me the information for it. Send me the information. My email address is chris at wokerealestate.com. Chris, C-H-R-I-S, at wokerealestate.com. Shoot me an email with the information for it, and I'll definitely take a look at it. Uh, what app are you using to track tenant payments? Please explain the night drop process. So night drop has nothing to do with the thing. That's an additional service. That's not even a service. It's just dropping it off in my bank. So that's the easiest way, the fastest way to get money straight to me is either bring it straight to me here at the office. Uh, you can drop it off in our mailbox here. We have a little slit right in the door there. Let me show you. A little slit. A little slit. <laughs> slit in the door. You can drop it right there. No excuse, right? You can drop that 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Or... That's, that's the board. There were some houses on it. Hey, we got a few houses under contract. Let's sell some. Um, or you can take it to the night drop at the bank, U.S. Bank. I gave them deposit slips, so they can just go drop it off right there, uh, right into the account. Or they can take it straight to the bank to a teller seven days a week, because U.S. Bank is open seven days a week, so there's no excuse. 
or uh, the actual system that I use is called Cozy.co. Cozy.co. C-O-Z-Y dot co. That's the website I use. It's free. You set it up. You can put your tenant information there. They can make payments right on there. It, it sends them reminders like five days in advance to, hey, yeah, on the 28th, your payment is due. So I got two people late right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, this other one, they just pay something to catch it up. So here, I'll let you see what it looks like. Cozy.co. This is some of the properties. So they all have the property address and pictures. So this is the, the newest one I just set up. We just sold this one on the lease option. So this guy here is paying $7.25 a month, due on the 28th. You can set up rents. I even got a little cute picture of the house. How cute is that? Cute. Cute, cute. So that's the one on South Compton. It's got the customer information, all of that stuff. Shows we're collecting rent, everything. And you can do other things here. So it has all this stuff on the left side as well. I don't use any of that stuff. Because I use the free thing just to put the houses in. And so all my houses are locked into the system. It helps me stay abreast of all the houses and the payments and stuff as well. To keep track of who's making payments, who's doing what. So even if they make an offline payment, so like that guy makes a night drop payment, I can go in there and record the payment. So I can keep track of who paid what and how much. Or I can remember. Or they can pay it straight into this system and they deposit it straight into my bank account. And they take three days to pay it. That's how they make money on it. They hold your money for three days. So if somebody paid it today on the 27th, it'll be there with the first or the second, whatever day that is. So they make money by holding your money for three days. Now you can pay a 3% fee to get your money same day or something like that, but I don't pay it because I don't really need the money. Money is just a tool to make, to use to go get the money. You know what I mean? Use your money to make more money. Don't work for money. Use your money to work your, you for money. Use Work your money to make more money. That makes sense? Hope that helps you out a little bit. So that's the system I'm using there. Uh-oh, did I lose all my comments? Oh, no. That's what I get for pressing buttons. I done lost all the comments. God dog it. When I flipped that camera, it took the comments off. Oh, well, hopefully that all help, helped you out with a little bit of value for today, a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of education. Make sure you're back right here on Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern, streaming live. We're going to be on with Byron the Investor, talking that real estate talk, talking about the paperwork makes that paperwork. All right? So, do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me.